Hello Internet, Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid... I don't know. I, I don't think I paid anything for Alien Breed 2 Assault, but I'm not really sure. I believe I got this game free as part of the Steam Summer Camp sale. But I'm really honestly not sure. I went back through my records, I couldn't find any record of paying any money for this game, but I do believe I acquired it free as one of the prizes from the Steam Summer Camp Sale, the legendary Steam Summer Camp Sale. So we're going to take it for a whirl here. We are going to see what we can see. I believe this game normally retails for $10. It's part of the uh, Alien Breed Trilogy. It is uh, created by, uh, developed by Team 17. Team 17, uh, you may know them for Worms. Yes, the Worms games in, in recent years. Prior to that, I actually knew them as a developer of titles for the Amiga computer system, uh, which was, if you don't know, uh, back in the, in the uh, dark ages of the 1990s, uh, 1980s, 1990s, before um, Windows had a lock on personal computing, there was an operating system uh, which was eventually would eventually come to be known as the Amiga OS, and uh, it was a, a very similar system to DOS and then Windows on top of that. Uh, their GUI was called Workbench. I never actually owned an Amiga, but I do have fond memories of using some. Uh, one of my relatives had one, and I had a friend who had one as well. They were fantastic little systems, actually, and they continued to make the Amiga OS. They may even still make it today. I know they released one in the 2006, 2007. Uh, they may even still make it today. I am not really sure. But, uh, yeah, Amiga. They were a major developer for, uh, for games for Amiga systems. So, uh, yeah, learn something new every day, I guess. Or, in my case, you have a an old memory unearthed. So let's get into this game. Let's give it a try. It is an isometric shooter. It is that sort of overhead view shooter. I mean, I guess it would be best described as a dual stick shooter. Uh, I don't play a lot of console games, so uh, I'm going to use my Xbox controller here for this, but I am a little bit... I'm going to go to Rookie because I'm a little bit skittish. Uh, I have not actually played like a proper dual stick shooter with a pad in years. Oh, they're going to catch us up here. I have been told that this game picks up right where the previous game leaves off, so... I'm going to keep talking because you can read on the screen what these people are saying, right? Um, yeah, so this game's supposed to pick up like literally right, right after the first game. Um, so true sequel here, not just, oh, five years later, dude got into some more trouble. This really picks up right where the previous game left off, and then so forth for the third game, uh, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> We're missing some some wonderful voice acting there. Shut it down. It's gonna blow. Get to the chopper. Oh wait, sorry. What the hell happened? I have no idea, but it is safe to say that the Leopold's computer is no longer reliable. As I see it, our only option is boarding the other vessel through that breach in hydroponics and trying to jiggle its engines online. I'm boarding a ghost ship. If I'm not back in an hour, we'll come find you. Are the core systems intact? Let's find out. I'm going to take it that something sinister was intact on this vessel. Oh, good lord, it's Cthulhu. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
gruff voice guy for the win. All right, so this ghost shit be fucking with us. Let's see what we can do about it. <laughs> Here we go. Like I said, don't expect miracles. I haven't played a dual stick shooter with two sticks in ages. I'm afraid my thumb coordination may be gone. Try to activate the emergency power systems. Reboot the emergency systems. Alright, let me do that. Alright, that moves my character. That moves my gun. That shoots, as expected. That one runs, that one reloads. Oh, well, melee attack, okay. A to interact. Well, thank you, how convenient. Okay, waypoints. Lots of explosions going off here. I have a waypoint. Oh, good lord. Oh, this doesn't look good. Some kind of alien egg. Okay. Systems malfunction. Oh, lord. Okay, that door is locked, so I guess we gotta find another way, huh? Oh, this flashlight. This is freaking me out already. Okay. I keep thinking I hear a heartbeat. I'm trying to figure out if that's in the game or if it's because I'm wearing my, my headphones and I'm hearing my own heartbeat. Good lord. You shut down the elevator control system. The computer voice sounds just like Uhura from the original Star Trek. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so the elevator went down. Reboot the emergency power systems. Okay. I suppose I can do that. Lord, these... Ooh! Stuff be flying everywhere. Oh, good lord. Hearing noises. Ugh. Normal's good. I like normal. Activate the door controls. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go into the area that has living organic matter all over the floor. Oh, okay. Oh, sneaky. Totally did that on purpose. I bet I'm, I'm one of like a million people who have mistakenly fired at that thing thinking it was a... It was a creature coming for me. Oh, great. They just told me how to aim my weapons. Oh, little guys. Those aren't so bad. You can see how bad I am with the dual stick. <laughs> like, my aim is just totally imprecise. Okay, here we go. Okay, alright. Whoa. Oh, I can see a red dot on my map. Crap. Oh, rotate the camera. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's good. Oh, good lord. Okay, okay. Be cool, be cool. Turn in this. This is a tediously long sequence here. Oh, great. 
Let's go down into the dark guts of the ship. Freaking awesome. Ooh, credits. Replace the damaged fuse. Oh, Lord. Emergency systems activated. This game has me on edge. Power systems normal. Again, I say normal is good. Follow the waypoints to the control room. Oh, no. Just stay away. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh no, this game's gonna put stuff behind me. Oh, I hate when games do that. Security level authorized. Like, this is just like a shooter game, but it's having like the horror game effect on me so, for some reason. <laughs> Alright. You know, Dragon Brad said something is amazing. I think he's referring to. An MMO that just went free to play. Systems offline. Oh, I guess we gotta go this way. Oh, I gotta go right over here to this thing that I was just at. Oh, this is taking a little long. Hope nothing comes up and attacks me from behind. Systems activated. Oh, good. Nothing did. Power levels at ninety-six percent. We have activated the generator. Clearance codes. Didn't I just pick those up? Follow the waypoints to the technician's office. Oh no. Oh, there's no need for all this. I'm running out of ammo. Oh, good lord. Oh, hey. There's a dead body and some ammo. A stun grenade, very nice. We have other weapons, okay. What's that? Huh. I'm gonna play with this gun for a while. Feels like a shotgun. Oh, nice. Too bad there's not nearly enough ammo for it. Oh, I got a melee attack, don't I? Oh, no. Ooh, good lord, that thing was right there. Oh, so low on ammo. Do another corpse. Eight ammo for the shot cannon. I still have my stun grenade. Okay, okay. Locker. I like how I'm still bothering to get credits. Like... It's like Dead Island, how you constantly pick up money. Okay, okay. Oh man, every time I'm searching a corpse, they be coming after me. Oh, we got a lot of ammo off that. That's nice. I like the ammo. Oh, what the heck? He spit at me like a llama. Frag grenade. Oh man. This is like the little stash room. Heck yeah. Oh, there's some kind of terminal in here. Welcome to Intech Systems. That's what all the money's for. 
Ah. Heck yeah, when oh, you can sell ammo too, that's funny. Let's save. We got a stun grenade, we got our assault rifle, and we are moving towards the flashing triangle. Naturally. Cool and control. <laughs> These two platforms are linked together with a balance beam. Well, that's just awesome. Oh, good lord. Blockage detected, you don't say. Yeah. Access control. Oh, yeah, let me go into the danger room. Awesome. Excellent idea. Sentry gun. Radiation detected, all right. Search this body, jeez. There we go. Alright, I'm going to give this a couple more minutes, then we will call it... R to... Okay, left trigger to place sentry guns. It said left trigger, that was a stun grenade. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, I have to select it. That's awesome. Well, crap. Wasted my stun grenade. Oh, it's helped me out. Thank you, Sentry Gun. Valve's closed, huh? Valve? Okay. Filling up with coolant. Oh, more stuff. Shooting red canisters causes them to explode. Good lord, that was a dynamic explosion. Huh. I just walked right over that. It was like a little mini game and I didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. 
Did that do anything of use? And then those are not stopping. And we have ourselves another waypoint. This seems like as good a place as any to stop, guys. Really haven't gotten too far into this game, just playing through this first initial area, first initial level. Like I said, story-wise, it does pick up where the previous game left off. Um, I do think the game is uh, it's pretty entertaining so far. It feels a lot like a console game, and I guess that's because I'm using a console controller, and it's this sort of isometric shooter, and those were on consoles for so long. Um... But in the end, the game is is uh, pretty darn good. I can't complain too much about it. Not at all. Um, do I really want to overwrite my previous? Yes. Uh, the, the graphics are great. Uh, it's the Unreal 3 engine, which of course has been proven to be a beast of an engine. And it can do everything from uh, giant MMOs down to simple uh, overhead shooters like this and beyond. I mean, it... it, it fuels games like this. It fuels... It's the uh, engine used for Space Marine. Uh, it, it's it's an amazing engine. Uh, there's nothing that it can't do right now, and uh, this game is is in part proof of that. And this game is a, a, a several years old, but it still looks really nice, and that's due to the Unreal uh, technology. Certainly no doubt about that. Um, you know, this game normally retails for $10. Can I give it 5 out of 5 based on what I've played so far? No, I, I can't. You know, this might be a candidate for a revisit later on. It does seem like a great game uh, thus far. The controls are pretty darn good. I like the uh, the systems. It works well with the controller. Uh, I imagine it works decently with a mouse and keyboard, though. Um, honestly, dual stick shooters like this, really, they're not made to be played uh, you're not you're not getting the most out of them if you're playing them with the mouse and keyboard. When you can play them with a stick, play them with a stick. All right, guys. So I'm going to give this one four out of five. I think it is definitely worth it if you can find it on sale at a good price or free, like uh, I found it. So yeah, Alien Breed Two Assault. I don't really think there's much more than we can say about it. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.